In this lesson, we'll learn about the get by text locator, which helps you locate elements based on their text. Let's say we'd like to select this with muted text. So let's go ahead and inspect it. You can see it's a small element inside H3 with the text as with muted text. So what we can do is do page get by text and just provide it the text. In this case, it is with muted text. And we can just go ahead and say highlight it. You can see that gets highlighted. Now, of course, you would not like to select just a certain piece of text. Instead, you can apply the same technique on other elements like links and buttons as well. So what you can do is just say like get by text. And let's say we'd like to have this small button so I can just say like small button and then I can just say highlight it. You can see small button gets highlighted. Similarly, we can select other elements as well. Let's say we'd like to select a button that is this middle right here. So if I click it, you can see for a certain moment it gets highlighted. So we can do something like page get by text and then we'll specify middle and then we can just say click it and when I execute it you can see middle gets clicked. Similarly we can apply this technique on any element and select it by text. Of course if it's a button or a link it's better to select it using the get by rule selector but you should know that you have this selector at your disposal as well. Now the main thing here is that not only you can select an element based on its text, you can also select it based on if it contains a certain text. Let's say we'd like to select this line or this paragraph with fine print only. I would not like to type or type all of this. So what we can do is just say page again, get by text. And this time the text will be let's say fine print and then just try to go ahead and select it and highlight it at the same time you can see this paragraph gets highlighted because it contains fine print now by default this is the behavior get by text shows that is if this text is contained by any elements text it will go ahead and select that but if you don't want to do this, then what you can say is it should exactly contain only this piece of text. So if I do it, you will see it highlights nothing because it doesn't find this piece of text. But if I say something like, let's say this adder right here and enter it you can see it gets selected and again if i try to select the fine print one because it was already selected you can see it gets highlighted again oh that's because i've set the exact as false that's like the normal behavior and now if i say like the exact should be true it will not highlight it this time because there is no text that has exactly just fine print. So that's how you can use the get by text locator to locate elements based on their text.